Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here and I want to show you an example of one way that you can use your Fibonacci sequence golden mean calipers and embed the golden ratio into your cigar box guitar design. Now this is just one example. What I did is I, using the calipers, I created these quadrants, marked them off with lightly with a pencil, right? So I created this quadrant here and this quadrant here on this side. And then I also did quadrant in this angle right here, right? And also down here. So I created these golden mean quadrants in here. And then with the template, notice the, uh, the F hole's got a little cross member in the middle of it. What I did is I put that cross member exactly in alignment with the golden mean. And then I centered the F hole inside the quadrant. Okay? So that the center of the F hole, the crossbar, is direct alignment with the golden mean, and then the F hole is also centered directly in its quadrant. One thing I did note that I thought was kind of cool is that it's perfectly centered and in perfect alignment with the neck itself, right? So that is just one example, and I'm sure um, there's many, 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 many more yet to be discovered, but centering your sound holes and your F holes according to the golden mean is an awesome, awesome application that just lends for balance and golden mean symmetry. All right, so as far as circular sound holes are concerned, notice how this sound hole begins right at the golden ratio right here. So what I did is I marked up my quadrants again, drew a line exactly where it needs to be, and then did the same for this angle here. Marked it here, and then also marked it here. So again, I created these quadrants, and then I measured the center of this bad boy. Right? And I'm going to put the edge of my sound hole exactly according to the Fibonacci sequence.